thank you, Agent, for participating in this declassified mission briefing. Uh, this was the first of four missions for the Star Tree Mission Impossible Data Reckoning Challenge. Not only have you successfully completed your mission, you have been recognized for your accomplishments above and beyond the call of duty. Can you identify yourself, your job title, and the company you work for? Hi, thank you. Uh, this is Robert Zich. I'm a staff software engineer at Raft. Uh, how many years have you been a developer operative? Officially, nearly 20, but unofficially, well, that's classified. Hmm. What is your most trusted programming language? Java, uh, because it's the, the language of Pino and so many popular data systems. What can you tell me about your employer, Raft? Raft is a defense company with a mission to connect humans with data at the edge. Raft builds data platform and the intelligent layer above it called the Waves AI Workbench. Raft has operationalized these products in several federal agencies, including the US Air Force. What kind of projects are you working on now? My current work at uh, Raft includes leading the development of Raft's fork of Apache Pino, uh, which is used for real-time analytics by the Raft data platform. Uh, I also enable customers to gain insights from real-time dashboards powered by Pino and supported by Kafka Streams applications. Our flagship product, the Raft data platform, includes Pino, Kafka, Trino, and several custom features developed by our team that together enforce complex security policies to highly sensitive real-time data in Kafka and historical data in Delta Lake. This uh, single pane of glass for hot, warm, and cold data tiers unlock multiple use cases for our stakeholders. What prompted you to get involved with the Star Trees Programming Challenge? I decided to participate in the challenge because uh, I enjoy optimizing queries, uh, learning more about Pino, and building dashboards. What did you think of the first challenge? Was it not hard enough, too hard, or just right? It was just right uh, for me, um, as it allowed me to explore newer features of Pino, um, experiment uh, with various query patterns, and find ways to visualize the data in both uh, effective and creative ways. I would say that having the free uh, infrastructure that is uh, Starchy Cloud and preset allowed me to get started quickly and focus on the core aspects of the challenge. What was your key to solving it? To get the, the optimal uh, performance out of Pino uh, requires matching the query pattern to the appropriate uh, index. For the total orders uh, in the US uh, query, uh, I identified that the country data is embedded in the JSON field and used the JSON index to achieve a very low query latency of 32 milliseconds. For the how many distinct users visited the website per hour on September 16th uh, query, I identified that the timestamp index would be a good fit as it provides uh, additional indexes at the hour granularity and achieved another very low query latency of 45 uh, milliseconds. At this point, there's one vital question that needs answering. Uh, which favorite restaurants or meals are you planning to treat yourself with your $3,500 DoorDash gift card? Yes, very uh, vital question, uh, especially uh, for my family. Uh, we all... Uh, like the uh, butter chicken uh, from uh, India Oven, and especially love all the, the cookies from Crumple Cookies. Thank you very much for your service and your contributions. We look forward to seeing your uh, participation in the next three challenges. On behalf of everybody here at Star Tree, thank you, Robert. Thank you. So as I mentioned um, a moment ago, um, for the total orders in US query, the country data um, is embedded in the JSON field. Um, in this case, the user address JSON uh, string. And I'm using, uh, as you can see in this query, 
the JSON match uh, function, which internally uses um, the JSON uh, index. Uh, what's not shown here um, is uh, the table config to set up that um, JSON index, but it uh, essentially is just specifying that um, to apply the the JSON index for this for this field. And it uh, in these query results, you see that um, the elapsed time of the query was 32 milliseconds, and the result size was 1.5 million records. The other query that I discussed a moment ago was um, the distinct uh, users uh, visited on the website per hour um, on September uh, 16th. And this one is uh, supported by um, timestamp uh, index. Inside of the table config that I'm not um, showing here is um, a configuration that specifies to create essentially indexes at the hour um, granularity. Here I'm, I'm showing that the, the, the use case for that time step index, right, using day trunk uh, for the hour for that, um, that particular time range. The, the word cloud, uh, I thought, was a creative way of um, listing out, you know, the top 25 states. I, I took a look at this from kind of both angles. If you were in a position of someone who was looking to um, optimize uh, sales or trying to, you know, support uh, the sales platform in, in real time, it kind of helps to serve both of those types of, of use cases, you know, with the user activity by event type, you're seeing all of the different activity over time, uh, kind of in relation to one another with views serving as the base and the other uh, event types kind of building on, on top of that and some tables uh, here that might direct, um, you know, maybe further optimization, you know, sales and, and things mm -hmm. like this. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck.